Hey guys, Jim Grant here for Ammo Land TV. Today we're taking a look at something a little different. As you can see, it's getting dark. You can hear some bats in the distance and we are gonna own the night. But before we do so, we need an illuminator. So we're taking a closer look at this relatively inexpensive IR illuminator from Olight, the Odin IR. It is essentially an IR version of their Odin Mini, which itself is a pretty capable weapon light. So does the IR measure up to the Odin? And in a market that otherwise has every option well over $1,000, how can a $169 IR illuminator hold up? Well, let's go blast some steel plates in the dead of night, find out. The Olight Odin IR is the latest infrared weapon light from Olight, specifically designed to be run on either a carbine, a shotgun, or even a large format pistol. It ships with most of the same creature comfort features found on the Olight Mini Odin, which is to say a quick detach tape switch and a QD rifle mount that allows shooters to orient the light in 90 degree increments relative to the handguard. One difference though is that the original Olight Odin Mini utilizes an M-Lock interface, whereas the IR variant utilizes a Picatinny interface. Though if you would like either, they are actually completely compatible and you can order either one off of Olight's website. Now one thing I really like about these lights in general is that even though they utilize a tape switch, said switch can be removed and the end of the flashlight, the tail cap, is actually a push button switch. This is useful for two reasons. You can either hold the light in your hand and utilize it or for guns that just simply don't have enough rail real estate to have the tape switch attached to them, you can actuate that tail cap with a support hand's thumb. But the biggest difference between this and the Olight Odin Mini is the small serrated ring that rotates between three settings. They are visible light, off, and IR light. The off position might seem strange to people who don't really run NVGs, but because in an IR setting the light is invisible to the naked eye, it becomes impossible to tell whether the unit is on or off. Yes, just forward of this, there is a small, small, very, very dim light, but it's very difficult to see in daylight. So the best way to prevent yourself from draining the batteries prematurely is simply utilizing the off position whenever it's not in use. Even though the Olight Odin IR is an IR illuminating flashlight, it also has a visible light setting. And when in that visible light setting, the Odin IR's emitter produces 1000 lumens powered by a rechargeable 5000 milliamp 21700 battery. The unit charges in the same way that most Olight products do, a magnetic USB cable. That 1000 lumens is pretty decent. It's excellent for outdoors, though a little bit overkill indoors, but it's still serviceable. When in the infrared setting, the Olight IR has a 150 milliwatt IR illuminator that if you compare it to something like the Russian Perst 3, which is 500 milliwatts, sounds kind of unimpressive. But you have to keep in mind, this unit is $169. Perst 3 is $1,500. So yes, you're not getting the same level of performance you would expect out of a military grade unit, but you're paying one tenth the price. Another important aspect to note is that the IR illuminator on the Odin IR is a fairly widespread beam and unlike the PERS 3, cannot be focused. So you're gonna have to deal with what you've got. The good news is it's kind of a good balance of depth versus width in terms of being able to utilize the light in a variety of situations. In my personal experience, it is tremendously overkill in an indoor setting to the point where it drowns out everything other than where the light is. So what's the verdict? Is the Olight Odin IR worth a buy? Well, certainly to shooters new to NVGs or just those who want something relatively inexpensive to toss on their hog hunting or home defense NVG setup. Yes, there are absolutely more powerful and more durable units from American companies and others on the market, but they are vastly more expensive. Plus, the majority of them are not nearly as quote unquote feature rich as something from Olight, meaning most of them will not include the tape switch or the rifle mount or the QD charging mount. If you'll excuse the pun, where the Olight Odin IR really shines is kind of an entry drug, if you will, into NVG illuminators. You're not gonna spend so much money that you'll have instant buyer's regret if it's not what you want, but at the same time, if you were sort of on the fence or you really want to enhance the clarity of maybe a lower end or even a digital night vision device, this makes a handy addition to any weapon system. Yes, you will not have the same performance as a $1,500 unit, but you're paying one-tenth the price. Anyway, if you want to learn even more about this, I have a whole write-up over at AmmoLand.com. And as always, for AmmoLand TV, I'm Jim Grant. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, I will catch you guys on the flip side.